And welcome back everybody in Twitch and also on YouTube in the future for our next deck, which is gonna be Bant Value here. So calling this uh, value because we have all sorts of creatures that have enter the battlefield effects. Uh, basically all of them, Tristani, Bugler, all right, I guess you don't, Branchwalker, Jade Light Ranger, Deputy. This one just gets bigger from the other one, so it kind of has ETB effects. Hydrocrasis, of course, just draws you lots of cards, so that's that's like a, a value card. Basically, I'm calling like my Militia Bugler decks value decks for the most part. Um, I, I haven't been doing super well with Bugler recently, but... I'm going to try Bugler with Deputy of Detention, uh, which this is a card that I certainly underrated before and how the, the metagame shaped, off, shaped up currently. Uh, it's with a bunch of Hydroid Crisis. Uh, its value has gone up. So we have a, a removal spell here with Deputy that we can find with Bugler. We can find it with Vivian. Um, so kind of excited about that. Uh, you know, Bugler also finds Hydroid Crisis, which is, you know, really, really nice. Um, so uh so that's that's pretty big for us too so um you know we played uh bant flash like either yesterday day before so i guess two days ago now um and that that's a band deck that i i really like and that um i'm kind of going to continue tuning because i think that could be a really good deck in the metagame uh but this is another way to take bant that this has some potential too so we'll kind of see if this is going to be strong enough uh before, whenever I've played this a couple of times, and I've tried like I've been playing it with Biogenicus, and I just don't think Biogenicus is quite good enough. So, kind of going lower on Biogenicus and more on Deputy, and seeing if this is where we want to be with Militia Bugler. So, that's it. That's Bant Value. That's the deck. Bant Value Bugler, and let's try our League out. I guess I haven't done any. Eh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, let's. Here we go, Bant Value. Um, yeah, let's get started. All right, getting Mardu Angels uploaded onto YouTube. Mardu Angels. February 7th, 2019. Play first. We're so lucky. Branchwalker and Jaylight Ranger. Can't go wrong with those cards. Hmm. Not sure what our opponent's doing over there with Basic Island. Um, but I don't really want to see Mono Blue aggro with uh, this hand and and even I mean even is it Drake's this is you know these ground creatures aren't so good in either of those matchups so there we go that's a good card ah it is mono blue well at least I like how we started and I like having the deputy detention in this matchup Uh, by by, I like how we started. I mean, I like how our opponent started with just having a uh, a trickster in to block the second turn of the game. All right, we're just going to be pressuring our opponent. You know, we we have a 3-2 and a 4-3, so we are already out on the battlefield. You know, Mono Blue wants to play something early and then counter a bunch of stuff, but we're already ahead on the battlefield, so it's going to make it hard for them just to sit back and, you know, counter a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and attack. Hmm. 
a really sculpted mine. I think control is just pretty popular in the metagame right now. So Esper, Esper should be better against control than Mardu is. I think. Alright, we got underneath the mono blue opponent. Oh, when you go Esper, I see aggro. Gotcha. Oh. Yeah, that's not as good. Alright, so seal away. Binding. Dawnbringer. Um... I'm gonna go ahead and cut Bugler here. Cut Climb. Cut a Johnny. Um, that's 61. This is too many fives. I mean, Krasis is not really a five, but it's it's a expensive spell. I guess Tristani is coming on out. Let's play two negates, and I'm gonna trim a Vivian also. I like kind of I like maybe be able to have like deputy and then negate back up for it. Wonder if I should be playing all three negates. What would I take out for the third negate though? I'm not sure. Maybe take out another Vivian? Alright, let's try that. Yeah, I like the Druids. I, you know, us having a lot of mana. Like, we gotta be fast in this matchup. Um, so, us us expending our mana right away is, is pretty important. I think so. I think I usually see Entrancing Melody in Mono Blue Sideboard. Um, so, this, this could be an Entrancing Melody uh, matchup for them. That could be something that we need to watch out for. Sphinx of Foresight. I don't like that card in Mono Blue. All right, come on, deck. Draw lands. Draw some lands for us. Ooh, no Curious Obsession? How are we so lucky? How are we so lucky? Looks like an Essence Capture here. Okay, now just a Retort. No lands. No. I didn't see him back there. I need to move the, move the mic out of the way. Play, good play. I wish I could deputy and get rid of both of those storm tamers. But of course, they can just sack a 
have Storm Teamer to counter the ability, so it won't work. don't hit very hard. No more Tempest Gins for you. And the opponent picks it up. Probably had some more Tempest Gins in hand. Alright, got the Got a first win. Uh, it's a lot easier to beat Mono Blue whenever they don't have Curious Obsession. That's for sure. No Curious Obsession is rough for them. Yeah, they did not have their best hands at all. But they probably that's that's the problem with that four mana four four. You know that that that's just a dead card in their hand and just doesn't matter. Even though they got the to scry three, they probably kept like a one lander because they only played two lands, and they kept one card on top and two they shipped two to the bottom. Looks like we're playing Sultai mid range here. Yeah, our opponent was not good at drawing Curious Obsession. Meandering River. Ran into that syncopate. Right in. Right, still looking for. I want the fifth land. Um, so I think it's a, it's a better chance that I find the fifth land by playing the Branch Walker here than than if I just play Bugler. Because um, you know Bugler would just give us a creature, but not not, not really a land. Oh. Huh. So this isn't just a control deck. I can't say that I was expecting lean in war leader. Good job, Bugler. Way to look at lands and put them down at the bottom. Hawkeye's just st staring towards the door. Hoping that I come come in with some food for him, but I'm here. Dun 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 dun
We're gonna have Vivian come through, destroy the binding, get back Jade Light, gain six. That's my plan at least. Oh baby. Never mind. New plan, new plan. Plan is has Plan is reset. No! We had such a good plan. We we're gonna get both bindings. Alright, let's get all these Knight of Autumns in here. And negates. Um, do I want a binding their binding? Throw to climb. Hmm. 65 here. They're just like a, a blue white mid range deck with kind of the cards they had in their account, basically. Crisis is, is honestly not going to be great for us with all these exile removals, but I guess never. But I guess a uh, deputy may not be either. If they exile our stuff, we don't have it to bring it back with the Johnny. I don't think the deck needs March of the Multitudes. Um, way to go, Horatio. Got that Racto Showstopper. Awesome. Good job. Very nice. Ugh, deck. Their counter magic is going to be pretty good against us here. For those being so slow. But I'm not... I'm not, uh... Getting rid of a card like Vivian. And I don't think I even attack with Deputy and let them seal away. I guess I have Knight of Autumn now. Alright, I'll attack. Now we get a 2-1 in play. leader just kills us. Hopefully we actually get to block here. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have any kind of trick or anything. Just 
kind of sitting up there. Alright. Sounds fun. I'll just go ahead and play the Krasis. It's certainly getting countered. All right, so they surveilled nothing to the graveyard, so they kept both cards. I've lost so sometimes. See how many times we can get this deputy to send it back. So they they recast sabotage, right? Did they already have sabotage in the graveyard? Really, they sent it to the, the graveyard and then used it? I thought they already had one in the graveyard. I guess that was maybe last game they cast sabotage. Yeah, our deck does have good enchantment. I've seen hate. things that would break someone like you. So that's a that's definitely a strength of our deck is the ability to get rid of enchantments. Um I'm gonna get rid of this wild growth walker, play a binding. And anything else? No, looks good. Ooh. I'll feed you after this league, okay, Hawkeye? You don't usually eat for like another hour anyway. I'll feed you after this league. Yeah, you'll be you'll be just fine. No, not right now. After the league. He's just hungry. He just always wants to eat. Hands to keep because our deck's great. Hey, better than you and Mass. Howdy, folks. Ugh. I don't get to kill that thing right away, not this time. Uh, you got a tower feeder. Yeah, Hawkeye just eats. I just give him uh, canned food. Um, and so I feed him three times a day with canned food. You know, morning, uh, like in the morning, and then right before I start streaming, and then after a stream. So he's always looking real, looking real forward to it. Wow. Wow.
That just means we just get to play this Vivian here. Wild animal. That can't help you now. Yeah, this is the last league of the night. Um, we're pretty early in the league, though. We're currently 1-0. Um, so if we win this one, we'll be, you know, 2-0. No. Go in until we win 5 or lose 2. No one knows the wilds like I do. And we'll have a whole lot of mana for a Krasis the next turn. Speaking of Krasis. All right, 2-0. The deputies are, I have to admit that I was, I was pretty wrong on that card. Deputy has been just a, you know, a strong, a strong piece of interaction that we can find with Vivian or find with um, Bugler. I wish Frilled Mystic was a 2-2, that we could get uh, Frilled Mystic with Militia Bugler also. It's kind of weird that like having an extra point of power is, is worse. Because living in SoCal and have to scrape ice off the windows in the mornings. What is this nonsense? That is crazy. It, it was warm here today, uh, where I live in Roanoke. It was like 70 today. I went to went to the eye doctor earlier. Um, got a glasses prescription. Didn't even wear a coat or anything. It's been like 20. It's been. Uh, it's been like between 20 to 50 degrees for a while, but. It was warm today. Thrashing Lebrontodon. Uh, I think right. Good question. Do you think the question is do you th do you feel like Banter Sultai is the better deck for Crisis? I think right now Sultai is, but I f because the Bant decks aren't fully tuned yet. But I feel like. Bant has more potential. We're gonna try I'm taking the Llanowar off because I don't want them just to be able to like go with Vivian next turn. Sure. I get to Vivian next turn now. Yeah, three mana ramp spell that uh, also tri Gets a card out of your opponent's hand. Sign me up. The big problem, I guess, is... Alright, so now if I play Vivian and... If I play Vivian and minus... They get to kill Vivian. I could just deputy the Eldest Reborn. I certainly do not want... The problem is if I deputy Eldest Reborn... I can't deputy Eldritch Reborn. I got a deputy like Brontodon. The problem with deputying Eldritch Reborn is I, I certainly do not want them to get back an Eldritch Reborn whenever they kill a deputy. Told you after this league, Hawkeye. I'll get you food then. Whoa. 
Hmm. I had a lot of that happening today. Yeah, looks like another person that had some commitment to go to. That's that's like the fourth time now that that's happened today. I don't know if there's something weird with Arena. Like the fourth. That's, I think that's like the fourth time now. It's usually been in like the last game. Last game and. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy. Hey, we are a spawn. So like, you know, we're we're 10 and 1 today, but we've had we've had a lot of easy wins. Like besides besides the the four color gates mill deck. You know, if I'm, if I'm not including that like before this league like being 10 and 1, uh we have have had a lot of easy wins today. Though. Wild growth waka. I'll see you, Wild Growth Walker. I can see your Wild Growth Walker. What else you got? Uh, you got a cold there. Got a cold in the summer. That's not good. So they wouldn't play Wild Growth and then Jade Light. So if I play Wild Growth, I should probably play Jade Light next turn so I can keep pace. Blue land is good. Adonis climb is good. Oh, I don't get to play this incubation druid because glacial fortress. Boo. So we have like some interesting decisions here to make with the Hadana's climb. Whether or not we want to flip it immediately. Finality is kind of bad for us. Not super bad. Like I think I'm going to play so I think next turn, I am just going to play a huge, um, I think I'm just going to play a huge Hydroid Crisis next turn, because we can go, so we're going to go to combat, have Climb put another counter on this Druid, uh, and then go to second main, and we'll have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, we'll have ten mana and just Crisis for eight. Next turn. Yeah, but then we don't flip climb, but we're also crisising for eight. So that's that's kind of good. Eight's eight's a lot. And draw four cards with that. Our opponent may not even have a fifth land. That's certainly possible. I could double block and trade my wild growth for their wild growth. Um, but I don't think that's a good trade for me.
because then that incentivizes like our opponent to start attacking with like all these things. It's not the, I mean, it's not the best for us, but having Archer Verazka with Incubation Druid is, is pretty nice. You know, like with us having all this extra mana with Incubation Druid, you know, with this being six mana, we can just pump, start pumping that into Archer Verazka and draw an extra cards. We also have a turn, a two turn clock with these cra Hydroid Crasis, or the one Hydroid Crasis, I guess it's not multiple. Crises. It is good to see you, my friend. Let these things play a little bit victory. defense here. Pumping up the Incubation Druid to be able to block all these three twos and get another counter on the Wild Growth Walker. They can trade. They can bump off the Wild Growth Walker. We just gotta attack with it. Oh, you did you miss us attacking with this 1818 just a little bit ago? Uh hostage taker. Yeah, because Winged Temple doubled it. Uh hostage taker is perfect for the opponent. So I can have a, a two turn clock now with like Jade Light attacking. Of course, they just get to cast the Krasis next turn though, I suppose. So kind of worry about that a little bit. Whew. I'd say that's something other than land right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So six. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. Or 14 for X, right? Or no, it's got to be 12 as X. Cause it, no, it's, yeah, so it's 14 mana, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12 is X. So now Be Finality strong. doesn't kill the incuba that Incubation Druid either. This is why we're playing Incubation Druid, folks. You get a lot of mana. Lots of mana. Every fight makes me stronger. All right, so wild growth can only do 12 next Scala. turn, I think. Yeah, I think we can only do 12 with wild growth next turn.
Deputy stealing hostage taker gets us our crisis back, but crisis is just a zero zero, so it dies immediately. Yeah, if we draw Jade Light Ranger, that's a good point. All we need is just any. All we need is any explore creature. That's a good point. So we can play Vivian and Tick Up and tr look for an explore creature. Also, so we have like five looks at at any other explore creature to kill them. No, a Johnny can only can do like one counter on up, on two different things. Yeah, Jun midrange went 5-0. We did really well with it. Alright, let's look for an explore creature. How this thing could come to me. That'll do. Oh wait, no, I don't have a Johnny to, to put a counter on it anymore. That won't do. That's still only 12. Why did I just not play my other Wild Growth Walker first? I don't know, Hawkeye, you're in the way. I don't know. That wasn't the best turn. Oh, if I just... Yeah, you're right. If I just deputy and then attack with everything, that actually would have been just better than just playing the Vivian. Yeah, I could have just killed them. I was just focused on, like, looking for that explore creature. I forgot our Johnny was dead. I should just... They had two blockers. I could deputy one, one blocker. Um... Pump this to be ten, hit them Meet down to four. They block, friend. they block one druid, and they take exactly four. Yeah, they would have taken exactly lethal. Um, you know, I, if I don't play any of these things with just this mana, just deputy and activate winged temple, um, and then attack with my four creatures. Yeah, we could have killed them. I just still think we. I mean, I still think we uh, can kill our opponent here, though. We'll see what they got with. with uh, see what else they have. I guess they get to gain a lot of life. Okay. What else we got? The wilds are my shield. All right, Jade Light should do it finally this time. They have to have instant speed removal here. Which you know, at three mana, they could certainly have instant speed removal. But if they don't, we got this one.
instant, instant speed removal or no? All right, all right. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Deputy Walker. No, I don't want them getting back. Like, them getting back Wild Growth Walker is not a big deal. Alright, so my Walker should be a 3 5. Good Jade Lighted it. I, did not, I didn't play the last couple of turns very well. But we're just. We have so many resources. We're laughably high in resources that I don't think it's going to really matter. That didn't play perfectly. I've seen things that would break I think it's I think I'm okay like with you. them finalitying. I, I think final like they're yeah, they die if they finality. They're just gonna die to the crisis. Because we're just gonna play a Johnny, uh put a counter on the crisis. Like they they can see it here between a Johnny, this like if they finality that taps them out and they're dead. So I don't need to worry about running into finality too much. I could I didn't want to play the bugler because I want to draw the Ajani. I did use Vivian. I already did before that. I I found the Jade Light Ranger that we played with the Vivian. Yeah, I guess if they if they minus their Vivian on my Krasis and also Finality, they're still alive. For now. We we still have our big incubation druid. I don't think they upticked. They did uptick for a land? Okay. Okay, because I was looking at their hand. I was like, I don't think they, they got anything. So, yeah, they did uptick for a land. I, I certainly don't want to kill the hostage taker, right? Because if the hostage taker dies, they find, get it back. All right, so they finality, so they're, they're dead. Together. Gonna kill them earlier. Strength is born of struggle. Oh, I should have used Wing Temple on the zero zero crisis, so it could have we could have doubled its power to be zero zero. <laughs> and no, that doesn't work. If you're keeping keep a track at home. <laughs> zero zero slash zero zero. <laughs> um, all right, what do we want to do here? And <laughs> the math checks out. Stainful strokes seems like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, I like Disdainful Stroke. Um, I 
They're going to be a crisis deck as well. I actually like bindings. I want to. Vivian's the card I want to binding, but binding crisis or hostage taker may not be the worst. Actually, I think it's just, I think it's just Beagler coming out. I'm gonna put a couple negates in. All right, we are up a game. We were able to get lots and lots of mana thanks to the Incubation Druids, and cast very large Hydroid Crisis. This, this is. That led us to a win. Overall, though, I think this could be kind of a tough match with our opponent being a little faster and a little more aggressive. Like, I'm certainly scared of, you know, like they get Llanowar Elves, so they get to be a little faster. They ha probably have more Hadana's Climbs than we do, and they have Hostage Taker. I don't know, they have some scary cards. I would assume they have more Hadana's Climbs than we do, but I I drew my one Hadana's Climb, and that, you know, was a, a mirror breaker. I'm worried about our opponent having more Hadana's Climbs than us and finding their Climbs. Man, Deputy Detention would have been a good draw there. I like keeping the binding here because the, the card I'm most scared about right now probably is Vivian. And so they play Vivian, I get to binding it. The big problem is I don't get to play my own, I don't get to go towards a land to play my own Vivian, I, I suppose. Perfect. That's the card I want to binding. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Did you we see them have like nature. an Assassin's Trophy last game? I don't think so. I don't even need to binding that though, I can just attack it. So they they must be really starving for that Let's black source. This again. Which is why they played the, the Vivian out there. They must have really been starving for a black source. And we can see why. Yeah, you can you can find all the deck lists <clears throat> uh, in the stream decker. So putting hostage taker in the graveyard does allow them to cast find to get it back. Which is kind of bad for me. Would you like draw and fire? Um. <clears throat> I 
but finality would be pretty bad for us to see also here. So if I want to keep Vivian around, I have to I have to chump block both of these. I don't think that's worth it. So I'll just double block here. Yeah, deputy attention would be so good for those wild growth walkers, especially since one of them are <laughs> one of them's mine. I've seen worse. <clears throat> I'm letting them keep mine right now. Just have one card left. Sure hope that card's not Vivian Reed. Of the, that card is basic forest. Gotta hit more land drops. We're not <clears throat> we don't have enough mana right now to these days. I wouldn't mind if that the cards of opponent's hand are thi or it seems like they have instant speed removal for the Ixalons binding. So that would be really bad, but I wouldn't mind if they have Thief of Sandy in their hand either, or they can't cast that. It certainly feels like removal spell. Okay. Good. More mana. Yep. Sure was removal. Bleh. Yeah, that <laughs> that adapt sounds so obnoxious. It's so obnoxious. Oh man, that's a good card. That's a good card too, though. 
There's so many good cards everywhere. Um, I mean, I, I prefer this deck. This is more my kind of deck. I'm not sure if it's better than the Jun deck. Uh, the Jun deck felt pretty good, honestly. It felt, it felt good. Hey, Gooners, with the Twitch Prime sub. Hey, Gooners. Thanks for coming back for the second month in a row there. That's sub number 29. One away from the big 3 0. Balance comes. All right, now we <clears throat> kind of wait on this Vivian Reed. No, I'm not. I'm not really uh, going with the flipped climb yet. I think. Um, just trying to continue to outgrind our opponent. It's usually what we want to do, but I don't think we need to worry about the climb yet. I think that what I could have done there to get like the, the best turn possible is I could have played climb, put the counter on incubation druid, uh, then went to second main, like go to combat, put the counter on incubation druid, go to second main and, and cast Vivian. So I could have had climb in play also. Unmoored Ego? Do they want that for Krasis or something? Alright, I guess they want that for Krasis. So, I, I guess I need to start casting these Krasises. Uh, certainly want to find Deputy of Detention for these Wild Growth Walkers. Yeah, Unmoored Ego's gotta be for Krasis. Okay, so you've got claws. No one knows the wilds like I do. I should have just played this climb before. <laughs> no mass, I don't have a double command. That was just a weird timing on like the like the fifth every fifteen minutes auto command kind of thing. Yeah, that was weird timing there. So our opponent knows about the Deputy of Detention because of Vivian. 
That's the one card they know about. I would kind of imagine they name Krasis here, though that's what they're trying to do. I think we still have enough to um, be able to win through our with our Krasis is gone. I don't think it's Vivian with Vivian already in play. Yeah, it was Krasis. Like, one Vivian in play, one Vivian in the graveyard. So, blocking like that... Um, it So, basically, it, wasn't, it didn't matter too much of which way I blocked, but I, I certainly wanted to keep Vivian around. So, I had to chump block the Wild Growth Walker, and then the other one was going to trade. Either one of my creatures traded with... Like they, they both traded. Um, uh, with the Jade Light. Okay, you didn't notice the Vivian got gotcha. you. Yeah, just, just tuned back in. Gotcha. Um, So now I need to flip the climb. Now it's time to protect Vivian, flip climb. That's our goal now. Because we need to flip the climb to kill our opponent. We're not going to be able to kill our opponent without flipping climb. We are actually kind of racing now, or like. No one knows the wilds like. Yeah, we I don't. Do. We don't have anything good left. In our deck, really, we don't. We don't have. Like with with the crisis is gone, I don't have anything like special that I'm really drawing into these days. That's fair. We don't have to flip it right now, though. Time to start drawing three cards a turn between our draw step, Archer Veraska, and Vivian. I'm just going to be going three cards a turn. I guess Vivian Ultimate, I guess, is the real thing that I need to start, that I'm going to work on. And so I'm, we have Negates and Disdainful Strokes. Um, and so I'm going to be kind of doing those things and just trying to protect Vivian. We should have, and we have another binding in here somewhere. I would like to binding that crisis. That'd be nice. I don't have any codes. No. No, I don't have any teferis in this deck. Yeah, I yeah. Th this walker that I'm holding belongs to me. It doesn't. I don't think it tells us, but it does. I'm going to deputy the Krasis. I'm going to try to keep ticking Vivian up. Um, because I want to ultimate Vivian. The wilds are my shield.
Yeah, Hotepper really does love Incubation Druid. Um, let's... Okay, saving saving the deputy for like another crisis. Finality looks really juicy on our opponent's side, most likely. That certainly looks like a finality if they're just attacking there. I don't even know if I counter finality, honestly. Hey, Boondocks. Because... <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't, th I don't even think I would need to counter finality, to be honest. Eldest Reborn? I kind of want to counter that. No, I'll just sack this while... I'll just sack this Deputy. You can't stop nature. Ah, uh, there's the disdainful strokes. Flips climb a nineteen. Yeah, I'm just I just want to get this incubation druid above finality. So down to only having two cards in hand. Oh, I should activate the Arch of Araska with that thing. I see I didn't have anything to, to do with that mana, but I had Arch. Should activate Arch with that extra three mana. I think we're okay though. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're only down to two cards. They don't. None of the stuff matters yet. I can still activate Arch and have Negate available. Because of Incubation Druid. And we're 
we're just gonna the Jade Light Ranger makes us chump here, so we're just gonna chump one of these wild growth walkers away. Oh! I didn't block the taker! Uh, <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. Alright, two extra turns. This is game two. We're up a game. We won game one. We're looking okay here. Meet my newest friend. Alright, just put in a gate towards the bottom. We could have ultimate this turn. Got to, to wait a little longer. I, no, I was I definitely meant to block the hostage taker. I just kind of clicked too fast. Yeah, there's not a not a reason not to block that hostage taker there. So we have 16 cards in library. I have to make sure I can kill my opponent before we mill out. Alright, are we done with these lands? Are we done with these lands Come yet? To me. Holy moly. Three more lands at the bottom. Alright, Deputy's above finality now. We're at 13 cards now. Yeah, once I ultimate Vivian, we'll start winning very quickly. How are we on, like... Okay, we've, we've seen all the Jade Lights. All the Branch Walkers. That's why I can't find jade lights or branch walkers. We've already seen all of them. They're all in our graveyard. I've seen things that would break someone like you. We have to we have to be back to um, let's get this thing out of finality range. We got to be back to finding uh, disdainful stroke really soon. I wish, like, Vivian wasn't random where we'd know, like, the order of the cards. But, like, we may, like, draw into a Disdainful Stroke, possibly. Alright, what can Vivian actually do? So they can get Thief of Sanity or Eldest Reborn, or they can kill the Climb. All right, finally. Oh, no, I wasn't going to deck ourselves because Vivian Ultimate ends the game like that. Like, the game's over. And, like, we could we could just cut through that 48 life like nothing. All right, 4-0. We are back on the final boss with an extra life yet again. Second time today. 
All right, final boss. <laughs> yeah, winning with elves versus a Vivian ultimate. That is true. We we did overpower a Vivian ultimate with elves. It was crazy. Yeah, third time to face the final boss. Second time with where we have an extra life. Besides the uh, the the four color gates mill donation deck, the rest of the decks we've had a lot of wins today. Fourteen and one now on the day. Everything else we've had some easy wins to be honest. We've had some disconnect our opponents disconnecting wins a few times also. Yeah, can we get a second perfect perfect run? We're facing Sintrix. Yeah, I just have the one climb. It was really good for us in that match, especially the game one. The game two, we found it super late, but the game one, it was really, really nice. Oh, hey, Crazy. Are we playing against you, Crazy? I guess you just probably closed the stream. Close the screen. The stream. Oh, it's you? Okay. Alright, well, good luck, Crazy. Um, it's probably actually better to play the Temple Garden. Good hand, Knight of Malice into history. I I like Deputy of Detention here. We get to uh, eat both of the the Knight tokens with Deputy of Detention. That's actually really good for us. Um, yeah, so like I I wouldn't even mind if my opponent has another history. Too much, just kind of crazy. Crazy's playing the the Black White Knights. Valiant Knight is really scary. You can give him double strike. No no fifth land for the double strike. Another history. Oh, bodyguard. Okay, that's a different card. That's different. We only get to gain one life and draw one card, but with all these crises, we gotta we gotta just play them. Um, I had a. Black White Knights deck like this before I haven't like updated it since like the new set came out. Whew. Benelish Marshall. Alright, our opponent our opponent's gonna have us. Yeah, this one. Benelish, Benelish Marshall's got me good. Okay. That was one of the better draws in our deck. I'm not sure if we can still survive. If they get the fifth mana, we are surely dead. As long as they don't get the fifth mana, we can maybe survive. The reason why, because fifth mana gives the Valley Knight gives their Knight's double strike. Oh my gosh. They're so big.
So if we kill that, kill this, chump, chump. Ooh, cannot chump with Tristani on that thing. Fifteen. We gain four. I mean, that was the best blocking I could do. I'm not quite good enough. We need to draw deputy detention here. If we if we could draw deputy detention and take detention both of these knight tokens away, and then play a crisis. Um, I mean, I guess I could still try that. So we gotta draw a deputy attention here. Ah. All right, let's see. All right, Dawnbringer, Knight for History. Some removal. The Johnny and Climb out. And this is 67. I'm gonna get rid of Vivian. I kinda like Bugler. Kinda like Bugler. It can block okay. And find us, like, Bugler finds us Deputy and Knight of Autumn, cards that are going to be really important, especially Deputy, or just finding us. Helps us find, like, the explore things. But what am I cutting if I don't cut? i got to cut four cards. Hmm. Can I play, like, nine spells that cost, like, five or more? Basically, I guess this could co technically cost four. I don't really see other things to cut. Incubation Druid. Uh, it's probably pretty important. Help, like, we got to get to, like, this mana here, like, for these things. I don't think I cut that. Maybe get rid of one druid and then the, the buglers. I guess that's the best I can think of. Alright, final boss looking strong so far. We're going to have to get a comeback win here. So I think I'm going to be using, you know, obviously we got Deputy on turn 3, but we got to have, like, Krasis on turn 4. I mean, I don't even know if we actually Deputy on turn 3. If we just Deputy that Knight of Grace. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. That lets us do something on turn 3. That's a good curve filler.
All right, so next turn, deputy away the two tokens plus incubation druid. Oh, three power. I can't double block that. A couple five threes. Gonna block one, take five. Reasonable ish. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about Lyra just eating removal like that. Hey, you missed the, my, the Knight's deck? Centrix is making it look good. Yeah, yeah. I used to play knights with the mana. It was bad. <laughs> it was bad too. All right. With having another Lyra on top there, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this Lyra. Uh, no. There's certainly not. I wouldn't refer them to these as god draws, but they're certainly very good draws. Alright, we're taking nine, going to four. Certainly, certainly very good draws, but not like the absolute, absolute best. Too scared if I display Lyra that like another removal spell will will kill me. Next turn, we should have a huge crisis if we can, you know, again, survive. Maybe been a little greedy tapping this druid. But we can crisis for 10 next turn.
Their deck doesn't play a whole lot of removal. Um, so, you know, like, they already had, like, one removal spell. They don't have a whole lot. No, Lyra's not a knight. There's an angel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. We are living. We're not, you know, we're not dying. Of course, our Lyra is bigger than their Lyra because of our Tristani. Oh, wow. Okay. Did have the Contempt. Um, but even with the Contempt, I guess they didn't like their attacks. I feel like I feel like he probably could have Contempted and attacked all in. Because, like, imagine this 11 is not there. I guess, I guess I get to eat their Lyra with the Krasis, but then... Yeah, I guess it's really not that good of an attack. Because I get to... I get to Eat the Lyra, block one of these other ones, double block another. I don't, yeah, maybe it's not that good of a hack. All right, we got this game. Looks like we're going to a game three. Yeah, we had the boss music at the, be the beginning of the match. Okay, that's scary. Yeah, we have currently gained, uh, let's see, one, two, three, plus five is eight, plus four is 12. We've currently, yeah, we gained 12 life that game, and we were at 13 there. I needed all that life. I don't think I need to change my deck at all knowing that they have Lyra. I think we have enough stuff for their Lyra. Okay. Game three. Ugh. Uh, we'll, we're going to be on the draw here. We just won game two. I don't have any Shalai's in the deck, no. Alright, this hand has a lot of potential. You know, Dubs, Wild Growth, and Jade Light. That's a... Wild Growth's a difficult card for our opponent to beat. Hmm. Never mind. Never mind. Kind of forgot about Takali Honor Guard. Kind of completely forgot about that card. I guess I don't really have any more removal for Takali Honor Guard than what I have in the deck.
Um, so I have two two Ixalan's bindings in the deck right now. That's all that we have to deal with this Takali Honor Guard. Okay. Okay. Don't want to chump block with anything. I think deputy. Because like next, if we draw land next turn, I'm binding, and then the turn after that, I'm jade lighting. Then I'm just not. I'm not gonna have time to like cast this deputy. Because then, then after that, we're probably Tristaning and Krasis, You know, so like we just don't need the deputy. Like I think we have to block something here. So this is twelve. Puts us down to six. Yeah, we can't really block anything, or we can't really beat anything else, any follow-up from the opponent. I would say that's a follow-up from the opponent. All right, final boss took us down. But good news, good news, we have an extra life. So yeah, good game, crazy. Good game. Yeah, that that uh, as as I'm sure you know, you know that Takali Honor Guard just messed me up so bad that last game. Yeah, you're yeah, you had some awesome hands. So that was good though. That's That's what final bosses should have. Alright. Back in it. Extra life. This hand's good. I don't have two white mana right now for a Johnny. We haven't gotten any good ICRs yet. Today. So we can cast Vivian next turn if our opponent doesn't use removal here. With climb flipping. Nothing to do still on the first three turns of the game. Wild animals I like. People come to me. <laughs> yeah, I've tried looking for for other good final boss music on Spotify to add to like a, a playlist that could have like throughout the whole match, but it doesn't seem like I can't I can't find other ones on like Spotify that I really like. It's not too readily available. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of video game music on on Spotify. So if if y'all find some and want to link link them to me. Ugh.
Bugler hit a ton of cards there. You should be proud to have come so far. YouTube. Yeah, I Heal. can't play YouTube. It's got to be the Spotify. Yeah, at Final Fantasy 7 through 10 were my favorite favorite Final Fantasies there. Um, besides that, I like uh, I like like the uh, I I like really like like the Zelda games, Mario games. I was looking for, I was looking at like trying to find like Zelda and and Mario games. Um, I really like uh. I like the Resident Evil games quite a bit. All right, Tessa. I haven't seen the Resident Evil 2 remake on PS4. I mean, I saw like a little bit like an ad for it, but I haven't like seen like Let's the the game. Place apart. Um I've seen things that would break someone like you. I have like all like those Resident Evil games on GameCube actually. I I played like the original on PS1, but I got all like 1 1 through 4 and 0, I guess. So 0 0 through 4 have those all on uh on GameCube. I will lend you my strength. There is a whole gaming genre on Spotify, really? Why couldn't I find that? I know there's the brand new Kingdom Hearts game is out. I I haven't you know, I don't have like a system to play the new Kingdom Hearts game. But I played uh I played Kingdom Hearts one, like the very first Kingdom Hearts a ton. I played two just a tiny bit. Oh, so it's going to be like, like that, huh? Yes, two. Yeah, the second one there, Carvalho. Okay. Meet my newest friend. I should have just killed Resplendent Angel. I should have just minus and killed Resplendent Angel. Fight again. We have six cards in hand. That's kind of cool. The wilds are my shield. We keep on like ticking up and seeing like four four cards and then draw all lands. I mean I can't complain too much, like we We're doing just fine, but see in yourself what I see in you. We don't really need to draw more than that. <laughs> uh Opponent, you, you can pick them. You can pick them, opponent. You want to just thought seize me twice? Go ahead. Which ones do you want me to discard?
<laughs> but like, like our bugler was like four hits. We took one, put the rest on the bottom. We saw that Vivian was tick up was four hits. I think another Vivian tick up was four hits. And so we, they just kept on getting clumped in like fours of like cards that we could could take. And then then it was just clumps of lands. So we would just draw on the lands, and then we could take one card and then draw lands. That's that's pretty crazy. All right, our opponent's all about that ritual of soot. So I'm multiple of those. So Wild Growth Walker coming on out. Um, we don't really need to gain the life. I don't think we need to be that aggressive either. Let's just get some Negates, some Disdainful Strokes. Climb can also leave us and uh, call it a day. Oh yeah, I think the Shuffler is perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm, I don't even know how many total lands that was that we just had there. It was a lot. Hey, there you go. You got to Mesmerizing Benthid against the Carnage Tyrant. Okay. Block, yeah, O2 block the, the thing so it doesn't untap. All right, new final boss song. Okay. Let me know what y'all think for for this as a final boss song. It's pretty pretty quiet on my end. I can I can barely hear it. So y'all have to let me know. Yeah, I can't even hear it. Like, for me to... I have to, like, really turn it up, and then I can't hear the... Uh, or then it's just, like, all the sound effects. Here, let me try this. Let me try restarting this. Just a second. Oh, no, it's it's playing on here. Never mind. Never mind. What I was going to try isn't going to work. Sephiroth. Uh, Should have held up the gate. So I'm not gonna play these. I'm not gonna play Hydroid Crisis before Profane Procession is flipped, unless we like desperately need to. Because um, yeah, Profane Procession can only get three creatures. Uh, before it flips, and then. Uh, so like whenever it flips then they get to cast the the creatures that it's exiled and I don't want them to be able to cast I don't want them to be able to cast their own hydro crisis
Oh, yeah, never mind. I should probably read the card. Put a creature card exiled with the... It's just four mana tap. Put the creature card uh, onto the battlefield. Yeah, never mind. It's not It's not them casting it. Never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. Yeah, so that works. So what are they getting back with Eldest Reborn? I mean, I guess it's probably just the Seraph of the Scales, because the only options are right now are Seraph, Krasis, or Incubation Druid. So I would I would assume they would go get, um, they would just get Seraph again, and then the Deputy of Detention can just take the two Seraphs. All right, so, yeah, I, I honestly couldn't hear that last song at all. All right, so how about, what about this song? Time to attack. The music is so low it's barely audible at all. Hmm. So this is the first level in the original... Um... The original Doom. Alright, so that's good that we can just take all these... We can just take all these uh, tokens. Kind of the, the problem here. So now our opponent gets to prof uh, profane procession the deputy, and then they can like you know replay deputy. Like deputy is a really car good card for them to procession. Um, but I think it's still worth it to take out all those one ones and everything. I think it's it's still worth it to to do that. Oh wow, they didn't even take the deputy. Wow. Look how I want fun. another land in play before we uh, play the Krasis. I, and we've seen a, a whole lot of ritual assets from our opponent. I don't I don't want to put a third creature out here.
All right, so what did y'all think of, of that song for a final boss song? Maybe like a rating out of 10. Here's another option. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think so. This is Gil's theme, Guile's theme. From, this is from Street Fighter 2. The Giles? Gills? Yeah, which I would have just jade lighted last turn. We could have just drawn two lands. We had a donation just a little bit ago. Neil, oh sorry, Neen. Uh, thank you so much for for donating for the uh, for a deck tech for a uh, for a deck. I think you're messaging me on Discord. Okay. for a sideboard plan for a deck. So I'll check it out after stream. Okay, how are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so what do we what about this one? If y'all give a rating for for this one after after listening to it for final boss music. Yeah, with with suggestions, you got you have to have a a um a you a, a Spotify link to help me out. I don't I don't really recognize like the names of songs for like the the different song suggestions that a couple people said in chat. If you find it on Spotify and link it. Yeah, I have a, a Spotify playlist I use, which you can find right there. All right, so they have an Immortal Sun. Got to get rid of this Immortal Sun. They're going to just run me out of cards. Against Doom and for Gil's theme. Yeah, the Doom wasn't my favorite. It was too heavy metal. Kind of for me. It was too heavy.
No friend of mine fights alone. So Johnny J Johnny doesn't do anything with the Immortal Sun in play. But I'm just kind of using my mana on it. I am... Um, I want to deputy the Immortal Sun. That's the card I want to deputy. Um... But... The, the problem with deputying the Immortal Sun is the Profane Procession, because then they just exile the deputy. So I don't really want to just use the deputy right there. So this, they can just put on things on the battlefield at instant speed. That's rough. Okay, so now Profane Procession's flipped. That's really good for us. And... Hmm. If only I could activate a Johnny, I could hit him for lethal. But I think I'm gonna deputy the Immortal Sun now. Let's see what this let's see what this does. Perfect. Alright, this should this should be able to do it. So we're gonna deputy the, the blocker, deputy the immortal sun, and tick up. Yeah, I think our opponent should have just kind of kept mana available. I don't think, like, they didn't need to do all that stuff during during their own turn at sorcery speed. They could instant speed, uh, you know, use, like, the, you, you know, use their profane procession, use it, their other thing. They, they didn't need to tap out there. All right, lethal, boom. All right, so it looked like Star Wars theme is a 10. A lot of people loved it. All right, so Star Wars theme, add in that one. Um. So we're good there. All right, five win league. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 20 gems across the board. 60 gems. 60 gems. Nope, not a new tie, actually. Um, cool, Horatio, I'll check this one out. I'll All right, so um, there we go. Kind of finish up on band value. Band value felt pretty good. The the deputy at detention was big. It was a really big addition to uh, to this deck. Um, yeah, so that was that was really uh, really important for us. Um, are we missing a pack? One, two. So we've gotten to five packs. I think we are missing a pack. I think we've opened up four. We'll open up a we'll open a pack here. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll just go ahead and do that right now. Let's get a pack. Um, Cause yeah, I've opened up one, two, three. Yeah, we're, yeah, we've opened up four today. So what have we not opened up today? We have not opened up an Exelon pack. Exelon is the one that we haven't opened up. Oh, y'all are so nice. Old growth dryads. F. That's the grade I would give this card. F. Um, but to finish up for like the YouTube video, yeah, I actually really liked like where this deck was. Bugler, 
Still not sure if Bugler is completely necessary. It likely isn't. It's likely better that we, you know, you just have kind of some removal. But, you know, this is almost like the Bant Flash deck. But it wasn't so bad. You know, Bugler could find, you know, found, finding us Krasis, finding us Deputy, all that kind of stuff. Um, a Johnny may not be necessary. Maybe that's where you can find a little bit of removal in the little bit more removal in the deck. But Deputy Attention did its thing. Deputy, like, cleaned up a lot of things. Vivian killed Flyers, killed Enchantments. You know, like, those, those cards are really good. So... Um, certainly think Deputy really improved this Militia Bugler deck. Um, and it, it felt like a good deck. So, really like it. So there we go. All right, if you're watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one.